Hello everyone and welcome to Jerry Pops. Today we're going to be going through all of my signed Funko Pops, so let's get right into it. Hello everyone and welcome back. Thank you to everyone who is returning, who has seen some of my other videos, and is coming back to this one to check this one out. Today I just want to go through all of my signed Funko Pops, tell you all a little bit about how I got them signed, a little about the stories that go along with them, show off some of the cool signatures that I got and some of the people that I've been able to meet since collecting pops. So hopefully this is a lot of fun for y'all. I think a lot of people like watch it. I know for me, I like to watch and see what other people have in their collection, what special pieces. And to me, all of my signed Funko Pops are special pieces in my collection because I got almost all of them all signed myself. Yes, there's one that we'll have to talk about that I didn't get signed myself, but the rest of them I did actually meet the person and get it signed. That's what makes signed Funko Pop so special to me is when you actually get to meet the person and get them to sign on to their character. So that's really cool to me. Let's get right into this. I want to show you some of my signed Funko Pops. The first one I want to show you is... Trunks, from the time you were a little baby, I've never once hugged you because I always wanted to make you a tougher man. I'll hug you now. Boom! Majin Vegeta, baby. Yes, just like many others in the collecting community, I too have a signed Majin Vegeta. This is the one exception to my signed collection. I was not there when Christopher Sabat signed this pop. I got this pop. Uh, my brother actually stood in line at a Dragon Ball Super trading card game tournament in the Dallas area. And he was able to get me one of the signed Christopher Sabat Funko Pops. And they, these were for sale for $60 from... Chris Sabat's booth during this event and so I did buy it for $60 because that's how it came but he wasn't actually at the booth which was weird and I actually wasn't there either my brother picked it up for me and yeah so my brother went and got this one for me and it just came signed like this and then he sent it to me which is whatever but to be honest I actually have met Chris Sabat and that's the cool part see he signed this Jerry three swords and you can see his signature how similar it is so there's the one that he signed on the pop this is the one he signed for me in person. I believe I got this one signed at an Akon convention in Dallas, Fort Worth before. And I actually met Chris and uh, had a good moment to chat with him. He's a really good guy. It was really cool to get to meet him and have him sign this and write, you know, Jerry Three Swords uh, on the Zorro poster as well. So I wanted to throw this in. Just so you guys know, I did meet Chris. It's just I didn't meet him when I got the pop signed because the pop was came, it came pre-signed, which is what a lot of people who have Maja Vegeta and a lot of people have that signed Vegeta in their collection. I am happy though. I actually really like the blue on this signature. I think the blue looks really good for this pop. And if you don't know, Majin Vegeta was an over9000.com exclusive. It originally debuted at New York Comic Con, I believe, and then ended up literally at every con Chris Sabat went to. So, so we're going to continue from there and actually go through all my signed Dragon Ball Z pops first. The first one I want to show you after Majin Vegeta is my Son Goku pop from Dragon Ball. There! That'll teach you to try to take my fish, sneak it up on me like that. Well, I'm ready for you this time. Why don't you come out of your shell and fight? And as you can see here, this is a Funko Insider Club exclusive. That that pretty much just means GameStop. And I got this one signed at actually like a local pop swap where Stephanie Nadolny, who's the voice of Goku in the OG Dragon Ball dub, she was there uh, and she had a booth and she just signed this for me. She signed it. Stephanie Nadolny and Kid Goku at the bottom. Unfortunately, I didn't have any paint pins. So she did sign it using like a Sharpie. So it doesn't look super great, but I still like the signature. I'm really happy that I got this one signed. Her voice in this series was really awesome to me. I think she makes the perfect Kid Goku and young Gohan for that matter, because she did do Gohan's voice as well. She has a great voice for that and is a really iconic part of my childhood. She was very kind, a little short when I got the signature signed. Only got to talk to her for like a half a second. It was still great to get to meet her and get this one signed. The next one in my Dragon Ball sign pops is Boom. Peace sign, Master Roshi. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in! So as you can see here, this is signed by Mike McFarland. He's the voice of Roshi in the Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball dubs. He, I think he's done Roshi the longest of anyone in any of the English dubs. And he did actually write on the top there, which I thought was super cool. He wrote Kamehameha, so he didn't personalize it for me, but he did write Kamehameha and then Mike McFarland, Roshi, which was really awesome. I think I got this signed like right after this pop actually came out. It was at a convention called OhioCon in Columbus, Ohio. Really awesome convention. I got to meet Mike, and I think I took a picture with him. And we, you know, we got to chat for a second. He was super cool. Talked about his, talked to me just briefly about all the work he's done in anime, and he was really nice. Uh, I really, really cool to get to chat with him about this one. 
But yeah, and Roshi's one of my favorite Dragon Ball characters overall. I love Master Roshi, so I had to get this one signed at the soonest opportunity I could. So Kamehameha, Mike McFarlane, Roshi peace sign. And this was the FYE exclusive. My last signed Dragon Ball Pop is another one of my favorite characters of all of the Dragon Ball series, and that is Lord Frieza. <laughs> <laughs> the end is at hand! You and this entire planet will be reduced to nothing but dust! Yes. Check this one out. This is one of my favorite signatures ever. So this is the voice actress. Her name is Linda Young. And she actually voices Ginkai in Yu, Yu Yu Hakusho as well. And in that role, like in the dub, she is like an iconic voice of my childhood. But she also was the best Frieza voice of all time. I, unquestionably, she knocks Frieza out of the park. So when I got to meet her, uh, also at a local pop swap here in Dallas, I got her to customize it. And she had a paint pen. She had a purple paint pen, which I think looks so good on the backdrop of this one. And she actually wrote on there, she wrote, Jerry, stupid Saiyan monkey, Linda Young, Frieza. And that made me so happy. She was like, she asked me, <laughs> she was like, what quote do you want me to put on it? And I was like, I don't know, just, uh, uh, and I like panicked. <laughs> and so she was like, oh, I'll just do this one. I'll just do this one. And she wrote stupid Saiyan monkeys. And so that was super cool for me. And I love that she personalized it for me. This was so great to get to meet her. And I got to talk to her about Ginkai. And me and her fumed about how they need to make a Ginkai Funko Pop. I hope Funko is listening. I hope Funko does it. And gives us an exclusive Ginkai for the Yu Yu Hakusho set. But yes. Signed Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. So that's all of my signed Dragon Ball Pops. Now let's get into some of the other things that I've gotten signed. I want to start with these two. The first I want to show you is... Max Goof from, yes, from the Goofy movie and from Goof Troop. Max Goof, and this is signed by the Jason Marsden. I believe Jason actually, someone correct me if I'm wrong, I think Jason only did the voice of Max either in the Goof Troop show or in the Goofy movie. He didn't do it in both. I want to say he was replaced. Someone else did it in one of the others. I'm not sure off the top of my head. I think he, I want to say he actually did it in the Goofy movies, and then someone else took it over for the TV show, the Goof Troop TV show, which it's unfortunate that this pop is technically from Goof Troop, the TV show, and not from the the uh, goofy movies but still jason is the iconic voice of max for me i really when i think of max's max goof like that's the voice for me and i love goofy goofy's my favorite disney character and so i had to get max signed when i heard jason was going to be at a con uh so i did get this signed actually at ohio con as well in columbus ohio so yes G and, oh yeah and he wrote this makes me super happy he wrote jerry stay goofy I really love that. I actually got to talk to him for quite a bit of time. He was really talkative. Learned a little bit about his history and everything in the industry, and that was really cool. But uh, yes, Jason Marsden as Max. So that's really awesome. Really great guy. And to go along with that one, one of the most special signatures of my whole collection, this one makes me so incredibly happy, is the late, the... Bruh. He is not dead. Bruh. The great Bill Farmer, the voice actor for The Goofy. Looks like Donald's the Lion King. <laughs> and wow, just this one still like I still beam with pride when I look at this pop because he says to Jerry, best wishes from Bill Farmer and Goofy, and that's awesome. I did end up going with my favorite Kingdom Hearts Goofy mold instead of the classic. I don't have the OG Goofy pop, and I still don't have it. I wish I had it. It's like over a hundred bucks or something on the secondary market. So maybe one day I'll get the OG Goofy pop. But just to have him sign this for me, the only weird part is I actually, at the con that he was at, he was at Ohio Con as well. At the con he was at, I actually was not able to wait in line and get his signature. I was jumping between other lines. So my wife waited in line for me and got this signature for me and got it made out to me. And she told me, she told him that I was a big fan. And that was really awesome and special to me. And I actually got to briefly chat with him after the signing because he was like standing around talking to fans for forever, which is just, it just shows how great Bill Farmer is and how uh, important being Goofy is to his life, which is amazing to me. And I, this is so great because I did get to meet him, even though it was briefly and not when he actually signed it, but he saw that uh, it was me and I showed him that this was the pop and that my wife got it signed for me. So this is, yes, this is incredible. Love that I got Bill Farmer's signature on this Goofy Funko Pop. Next, I want to show off one of my favorite Marvel characters, actually. And I had the opportunity to meet the creator of this Marvel character, and I really wanted him to sign the Funko Pop. So I had a really cool kind of circumstance come up so here it is this is the og miles morales pop and it's actually really hard to see because again i i was not prepared for him to sign this so i didn't have a paint pen or anything so you can't really see it on the camera but that is the signature of brian 
Michael Bindis, the original creator of the character of Miles Morales. So if you do any research, you look him up. That's Brian Michael Bindis, and I know it's him, and I know it's faded, and it's not a great signature. I still am happy to have had this because I sat with him, I chatted with him, I actually went to an after party thing with him. It was so wild. I was in Columbus, he was doing a talk, and I showed up, and I didn't have anything on me to have him sign, and I actually ran to a toy store down the street. I found this pop at the toy store. This is a legitimate story. I found this pop at the toy store. I bought it up because I was like, that's his character. I'm bringing this. I brought it over. He goes, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I haven't seen the OG Miles Morales pop. I know they made it. Um, it was so cool to see in person. And he was like looking at it just like, wow. And this was before the Spider-Verse movie came out. So, you know, the Spider-Verse pops hadn't come out yet. But he loved this design and he was just like super thankful to get a, to uh, see it. And he was willing to sign anything that I brought him. But he did sign this. And yes, like I said, it's not the best signature. He didn't have paint pens. He just had like black Sharpies. But I'm still so incredibly happy to have this. This was, this was a Marvel Collector Core exclusive pop. But uh, really cool to have gotten Brian Michael Bendis to sign this. The, the creator of Miles Morales. Next, I want to talk about... Boom! Victor from Yuri on Ice. So some people might not know this about me, but I'm a huge fan of the anime series Yuri on Ice. It's one of my favorite kind of different style animes outside of maybe my norm animes and my wife and I really enjoyed watching this show together and uh, we had the opportunity at OhioCon actually in Columbus to meet Jerry Jewell and the reason I really wanted Jerry's signature was actually because he voiced Jin in Yu Yu Hakusho that's what I know him from obviously there's no Jin pop and I could have got it on something else but I wanted to have his pop uh, I wanted to have his signature on a Funko Pop, and I knew he was the voice of Victor. I, I, I've heard a couple bits of his performance, but I didn't watch the series dub. I did watch it subtitled, so I'm not, you know, I didn't know as much about his performance as Victor, but I definitely wanted him to sign a pop. Unfortunately, uh, he signed it so quick, he signed it on the box, which kind of is weird to me. I don't know why he did that, but he did, <laughs> and uh, not on the window, but he did. So there we go. Jerry Jewell signed my Victor Funko Pop from Yuri on Ice. This next one is another amazing memory to me because I got to meet him. Also, this is at the same con. So I got a lot of these at all the same con ones. A couple others from just different, you know, other things that happened. But this is also from Ohio Con in Columbus, Ohio. And Bo Billingsley, the voice actor for Jet, was there. And Jet is my favorite character in Cowboy Bebop. I was lucky enough I had my Cowboy Bebop pop. So I was able to get Bo Billingsley to sign my Jet pop. But on that day... When I came back home, the only thing there was that pocket watch. That and a small piece of paper that had just one word written across it. Farewell. And again, I, I do want to give the advice that if you're getting signatures, bring your own paint pens. Uh, this was like, I didn't know a ton about getting signatures on Pops when I got a lot of these. And so I didn't bring my paint pens. And so that's how I ended up with a bunch of Sharpie signatures. This is another one. That was signed in Sharpie. You probably can't even really read that, so I'll read it to you. It says, To Jerry, see you, Space Cowboy, Bo Billingsley, Jet. So there's the there's a signature right there. And Bo is like the kindest person that I've ever met. He was incredible. We chatted for a while about Bebop. I told him that Jet was my favorite, and he like made a joke about how the voice actor that plays Spike, you know, Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, the voice actor who plays Spike is like the one that everyone goes after. But I was like, no, Jet was my my idol growing up. Like, I loved Jet. I looked up to him a lot. I thought he was kind of the mentor of the group. And Bo said that was awesome and, and was really excited to personalize this one for me as well. So now the next one is a pop in a series of pops that I really would love to get all of them signed. The hope, My hope is to get every single one signed. I haven't been able to get that done yet. Um, but I do have two of the ones from the set signed. And that is my Alphonse Elric with Kittens signed by the original voice actor of Alphonse Elric. It's not any stray. He called to me. He's wet and hungry. Can't we keep... So this is actually signed by the OG voice actor, not the person who reprised the role in Brotherhood. This is by the voice actor who did him in the original FMA. He was too old by the time they filmed Brotherhood to do the voice for Alphonse anymore, so they did replace him. This was signed by his name is Aaron Dismuke, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, he was a kid when he did the voice of Al in the original FMA. That's the one I grew up with. I've actually never seen Brotherhood dubbed. I watched it subtitled, and I only watched the original one dubbed because it was on TV when I was younger. That's how I learned about Full Metal. But so Aaron was the voice of Alphonse for me. I really wanted to get the Hot Topic exclusive version signed, not the common, 
So I was lucky enough to have this with me and I was able to get Aaron to sign it for me at OhioCon as well. Isn't that crazy? OhioCon had a ton of like banger voice actors the year that I was able to go. Uh, I want to say this was in 2019. And so the year I was able to go and I took advantage of it, honestly, because I was like, wow, there's a lot of sick voice actors here. And so I was able to get Aaron to sign this Full Metal Alchemist Alphonse Elric with Kitten's Pop. And now we come to my favorite signed pop in my collection. And what's crazy is I actually have met this person a couple times at different conventions. And I really look, like I really think he's a great guy. He's been so kind to me every time I've met him. I really think Vic Mignogna is just awesome. And uh, I think that this signature just has ended up meaning a lot to me. Because I've actually got a, I have a couple other things signed by him. I don't know where they are, just in my random stuff. But uh, I really wanted to, once I did the Edward Elric Funko Pop, to get his signature on the Funko Pop. So I was able to meet him just a couple months ago. Couldn't have been more than six or seven months ago. And this was like the third or fourth time I met him. And we chatted and he mentioned that he remembered bits, you know. He meets so many people. I don't know if he was being, he probably was being truthful. But he remembered a little bit. And I told him some a funny story about how I love the version of We Are from One Piece that he did. I love the dub version of that song that he did. He thought that was hilarious. But um, I was able to get my Edward Elric signed by Vic Mignogna. You come a little Roger Jack! Okay, it's really you. And this, I love this signature. Check out the way he signed it. I, I think it just looks so good. And if you can't see here, he wrote on the side, heart to Jeremiah from Pipsqueak. And that is just incredible to me. Vic was really, really kind. He spends a lot of time talking to his fans when he is doing signings. And he is just such an, a nice and honest person when he's around his fans. And I, I really think Vic does a great job. And so this is definitely one of my top grails. I really think that this is great and I'm really grateful to have gotten Vic Mignogna to sign this Edward Elric Funko Pop. All right, that's all I've got. So that's all of my signed Funko Pops. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my different signatures. Hopefully I'm able to complete that Full Metal Alchemist set and get Roy Mustang and Winry and Armstrong and Fear Bradley signed at some point. That would be amazing. I really do hope to do that. That's like probably my dream like signed set is get all my Full Metal set signed. And then I think I'm going to start working on my Yu Yu Hakusho set. Because the last time I was really able to get to a con, I didn't have all the Yu Yu Hakusho Pops. Um, but now I definitely want to get those all signed as well at some point in the future. So I hope you enjoyed being able to see my signed pops. Uh, hopefully you have some signed pops. Tell me about them in the comments. Tell me about which pops you have signed or which pops you want to get signed. I love getting pops signed. I think they're such a great and easy way to just like put a signature on there, especially for someone who like is the character, right? Who embodies or lives that character or created that character. I think that's the best thing about these. Um, but if you like what I'm doing here, then definitely go check me out on my Instagram at Jerry's Got Pops. Uh, you can check out everything I post on there. It's usually just collectibles daily. I post a lot in my story. But definitely go check me out over on my Instagram. Additionally, check out all my friends in the Funko Collector Society. I'm a member of the Funko Collector Society. It's a great group of people who are creating content focused on Funko. So definitely go check them out. And like I said, I'm super grateful for all of you coming back and viewing some of my videos. I hope you enjoyed this. You know the drill. You can like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you like. I'm just trying to share my passion for collecting with the world. So this is Jerry Pops. Signing off.